Hello, hi. <laughs> what up, it's your girl Minna. We're back with another video. And in this video, we are talking all about tips for making your makeup stay in place, stay put all summer. This is the kind of video that can really be helpful for you if you live in a warm weather area. Doesn't necessarily have to be for the summertime. If you live in the Caribbean or somewhere where again, it's just always warm, hot, maybe humid. I hope that these tips are gonna be helpful for you. So let's just get into it. I'll link the dress, the jewelry, and the hair down below. The makeup was in a different video. You want to find it. <laughs> it's the video where I was talking about being flewed out to LA. So watch that video to see what it's about. Are my lashes looking a little crazy? Just a smidge, this one, but we move, okay? Like I don't have time to do this again. First tip is primer. Primer is important because it's the basis before you actually do your makeup. Now, we've talked about skincare so many times here on YouTube and on IG. You wanna make sure that you do your skincare. Just because you wanna be matte in the summertime or in the heat does not mean that you should not put on moisturizer or you should not put on a serum. It's actually to the contrary. You wanna make sure that your skin gets what it needs before you put on your makeup because what will happen is your skin gonna be so dry it's gonna be reacting real crazy and you'll find that if you're uh, an oily person you still want to put a moisturizer on now you may want to choose a gel based moisturizer something that isn't so dewy after you've put it on I can't give you recommendations right now because I cannot think of any right now because for me I use moisturizers that leave me dewy I want to look hydrated I want to look shiny dewy hydrated right I don't want to be looking dry when I do my skincare I want to be dewy when I do my makeup I want to look dry so make sure you are priming your face you still want to do your skincare I've got a video or two on skincare okay so far we have a midday skincare routine video I will be uploading a morning skincare routine and an evening skincare routine all for combination skin which is what I have if you don't have skin like mine we're veering in a different direction here, but it makes sense. I need to give you the background, okay? This is important. I'm teaching you. My skin type is combination and my skin concern is dehydration. So dehydration means that my skin lacks water not dry, meaning it lacks oil. I have dehydrated skin. Back to primer. Make sure you are using a mattifying primer on your skin. I prefer lately, or just in general, I like the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. I also like the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop Primer. I'll leave these links below if you wanna shop them, if you're interested. They are affiliate links. Okay. Make sure you are priming your skin. Very important. Now, when you're priming your skin, the primer does not need to go all over your face. It does not need to go from your hairline to your jaw. It ain't that crazy. You see what I'm saying? The primer has to go where you want it to work. And we've talked about this in my primer video. So make sure you watch it. But in short, when it comes to this, I prime in my T-zone. Why? Because in my T-zone is the only area that I want to mattify. I don't want to mattify my cheeks. I don't want to mattify my hairline. I'm not going to prime in those areas. You get what I'm saying? Prime only where you need the product to actually work for you. Number two is the foundation. What foundation are you using? If you want to be matte in the summertime or in the hot weather, make sure that your foundation is what? Yes, make sure your foundation is matte. Some of my matte favorites are what I have on right now, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, the matte version, Avi. I'm wearing 470. I also love the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. It is dry, but it still leaves the skin feeling like skin. It's not so dry that the face looks crazy. It is dry in a good way. But the reason to me that it doesn't look crazy is because I do my skincare. If I came and sat down to put on a suck you dry type foundation and my skin was not hydrated, I don't know what I would look like. I wouldn't even try it because I take skincare so seriously. So please make sure you are doing your skincare before you go and throw on a wicked drying foundation. Do it for yourself. Praise the Lord. Then you want to set with powder. Hello, back in the day, 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 I didn't set my foundation, honey. We were using Max Studio Fix Fluid, and I swear to you, it set well. It didn't need any setting. Do you understand what I'm saying? I like to use a face powder. If you've watched any of my videos, either here or on Instagram, which by the way, follow me there if you're not already. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know that I set my face. I saw setting. It's like bringing everything together. I use a face powder. What does that mean? It's just a powder that matches my skin tone a little more, brings everything in. 
to make it all look good because once you've done the foundation, the highlight, the contour, to me, it's missing something. And that's where I put in the face powder because it's just a must, you know? It brings the entire look together. It might look like a lot, but I'm using a fluffy brush to do it that way. It is not going to look like too much. That's my poetry for you. Setting spray is going to be a must if you really want to be matte. I don't always use a setting spray because I can't lie to you, I be forgetting. When I finish my face and it looks off the chain, I be like, what are we setting and why? You get what I'm saying? There's no need for a setting spray. Like for instance, this, this face right here, I didn't set it. Do you see how matte we looking? Come on. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. I also use the CoverGirl face powder, but it's actually the Ambition. CoverGirl Ambition Powder Foundation. It's a powder foundation, you know what I'm saying? But in my routine, in the steps that I do, it's my face powder. So if you want extra mattification, go ahead and throw on a setting spray. If you've watched my Urban Decay setting powder video, then you saw me layer the setting spray. Go ahead and give that a try. Spray your face after your primer per se, or skip it and just do your mattifying primer, your mattifying foundation. You may want to spray before the face powder, or you may just want to set your face at the end. If you do all eight of these tips, girl, you gonna be on dry dry. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just have very unique skin <laughs> that never gets dry, <laughs> then fine. But try all eight and come holla at me. De text me, by the way, my number's right here and also in the description box. Text me and let me know how it all came out because I want to know. So join my text community. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have you real mad. So Take and leave a few of these. You see what I'm saying? You may not want to do all eight. You may want to take two or three. You may want to do just a few. It really is up to you. Ooh, that rhymed. I love that. I am open for bookings. I am. I'll do a little something something sometimes. Another tip for wearing makeup in the summertime is regarding your mask. So if you are still wearing a mask, if you're not, skip this part, right? But if you are wearing a mask, I like to wear the disposable masks. I do not wear the cloth ones. Uh-uh, girl, you be breathing to be low. <laughs> Literally, when you breathe, it's like... <sighs> and so the mask is going into your nose and then out. <laughs> The mask is acting like the paper bag when you when you hyperventilate, and I can't do all that. You know what I'm saying? So I like the disposable ones because they're stiff. I know that they got the duck ones. I never bought that because it wasn't cute. <laughs> I mean, I want to be cute. So I do the disposable ones. I wear the ones from Amazon. They are leopard. I also have the black ones. I have a Fendi one. That one, I don't wear makeup. I can't be messing her up like that. But I like disposable ones because when you put them on, they're stiff and you can keep it where it's out and not so much on your lip. It is going to leave marks. It is what it is. But I like to wear disposable ones so that it's not so much on your face. If the area you live in has lifted the mask mandate, go ahead and use a shield. If you don't want to do either, then you Gucci. You see what I'm saying? That's up to you. I have been fully vaccinated. Praise the Lord. He is worthy. So I just like to do a mask that's not going to sit on my face and mess up my makeup because I have gotten questions about that. But let's say you are wearing a mask or for some reason your makeup gets wiped off. I don't know how that happens to y'all because it don't happen to me. Y'all be asking me questions like, how about when I eat in the lipstick? comes off how does it come off why is your lipstick coming off when you eat now let me say i do wear a lot of matte lippies so this ain't going nowhere i also know how to eat in a certain way see my vlogs the food ain't gonna be getting on my lips like what are we doing are we eating are we licking why why are we licking our lips our lipstick needs to stay put do you know what i mean now the very rare times where i've only we're we're, we're veering again this is what we do do you understand patience the very rare times where i have worn just a gloss oh yeah it's gonna be coming off but i barely ever wear just a gloss i like to go you know liquid matte lip Ooh, i'm getting a little dizzy <laughs> <laughs> Wear a matte lip, honey. It's barely gonna go anywhere. You see what I'm saying? Now, let's say your makeup does get a little shifted for whatever reason. You want to pack with you some sort of a powder, a touch-up powder. Now, you've got the translucent kind of powders like the Urban Decay one, or you can take an actual powder that, again, the face powder that we had talked about before, you can actually pack that with you with a touch-up type brush. Fenty has a good one. I've got one from Givenchy, but the Fenty one obviously is more cost-effective. Take the two of those with you in your powder in your 
purse. If you with me, if you like me, your purse is real big. It's a problem. It's a little heavy. Got a lot of things in my purse, okay? Take that with you, and then you can touch up the area around your mouth. I don't get small lines, but if you do, you can do those touch-ups, okay? Very important. Take that with you. It'll do your body good. If you sweat in your makeup, okay, you have to remember this tip. Let the sweat dry. The last thing you wanna do is while you're sweating or while your face is wet with sweat <laughs> is take a tissue, I call everything a tissue, take a paper towel, whatever, and dab your face. If you do that, what you're doing is taking off the makeup with your sweat. The key is to letting it dry. I keep a fan in my bag at all times, even my crossbody fan. I'm gonna link the one I use below. But let me show you, I have a bunch of these, okay? What you need to do is this. You got three settings, okay? We go on high. Bang yourself down. Come on. What we doing? Mm-hmm. Hi, hello. I don't care what anybody got to say. If I'm out and I look good, but I'm sweating, mm -mm. first of all, thank God I don't sweat very often and this thing will bend and sit right on your table at lunch, sitting outside on the patio. Yes, ma'am, you are fanning yourself down. Who's sweating? Not you. You understand what I'm saying? I am not opposed to fanning myself down anywhere. I don't like to sweat. Like, why? Well, the good thing about me is I don't sweat in my face very often. I'll sweat if it's hot outside, but not on my face very much. But move the hair from the face, let your sweat dry. And then if you need to powder your face or do any kind of touch up, you can do that. But not until you've let the sweat dry. I'm trying to tell you something. If you've ever wiped off, dabbed off, patted down your face while it was sweaty, comment below and let me know what it was looking like. Because I can guarantee you it was looking real crazy. Let your sweat dry. You won't thank me later. I'm trying to tell you something. You also can carry blotting sheets, but even with that, you want to make sure your sweat is dry first. The blotting sheets are for oil, not for water, not for liquid, only for oil. So make sure you are dry-ish at least before you begin to blot your face, okay? And I already mentioned my last tip, which is to carry a fan. It just goes hand in hand with the sweating. Gotta carry a fan. This one will flip and fit into your bag if you carry a big bag like I do sometimes. If you carry a more narrow bag, maybe you can just slide it in this way. This is what it looks like. I don't know, do something. You can find smaller fans too. Do something, girl, if you wanna carry the one that opens up and then you like fan yourself, go for it. But that's a lot of work. Why this? You plug it into your your wall or whatever. You got you got it charged. Does have batteries, but I love to just charge it right here. The charge lasts a long time, but there's also batteries inside. But come on, who wants to be doing all of this action when you could just sit here and be like this? You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and get yourself a fan. I hope that those tips were helpful for you. If you can think of any others or tips that you are using or have used that work for you, comment and let us all know because you never know. I don't know everything. I'm just trying to teach you what I know and what has worked for the kid. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead and comment below and let me know anything you got to say. As always, glad you watched the video. Glad you're here. If you're not already subscribed, do that, okay? It's the least you could do. You know. You know what I mean? It's the least you could do. You feel me? <laughs> Glad you watched the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.